them. We had two stories here pulled up. We had one about Cardi B, and we had one about uh, who was the other one? It was Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj recently it's, had a beef with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Why are conservatives <laughs> fighting with pop with, with pop artists? And it is artists? awesome when Ben Shapiro has beef with like <laughs> anyone female rappers. Yeah. It's, just, it's great. Hearing him sing the lyrics to rap songs, or talk <laughs> the lyrics yeah. to rap songs is the greatest thing ever. Go to the ever. BuzzFeed article and then play the video of him talking about Pound Town yeah. 2. Oh, okay, so <laughs> first of all, you guys know who Sexy Red is then, right? Yes, Pound we Town. Know. We Pound know. She, Town she 2. She had the viral hit Pound Town, which now Nicki Minaj has a feature on. It, it is so bad, too. <laughs> I, just, I, I, like, wanna, I do want to talk about conservatives who get into these beefs with the with the pop stars. So let's watch the, the Ben Shapiro video first. Pound Town 2 is yeah. the sequel. The sequel, more pounding. Pound Town 2, more pounding. Pound. Pound Town 3, I assume, has Ewoks, because Pound Town 2 has Nicki Minaj in it. And uh, But this is Pound Town 1. Okay, so before we get to Pound Town 2, before we get to the return of Pound Town, we have to start with Pound Town 1. Uh, and uh, I, I've pitched it pretty strongly here. So here we are, sexy red in Pound Town. Yeah. I, I, I'm so hesitant to read the lyrics to this thing out loud. It's going to be even more memeable do than it, WAP if I do. But you know what? It has to be done. <laughs> I, live, I, 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 I can't live with myself reading it, and I can't live with myself not reading it. So for all those who uh, are, are watching this now on the left, this is me reading the lyrics to Pound Town. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'm out of town, thuggin' with my rounds, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. We're now doing color descriptions of bodily orifices. Where's the N-words? I'm looking for the hoes. Give him part of the headphones. Quit the playing, N-word. Oh. Come suck I don't need to hear this. a b toe. <laughs> I, I've had enough. Just uh-uh. I'm out here in Miami. Looking for the hoochie daddies, where are they at? Where are the N-words? Get that ratchet, where are they at? My son need a new pappy. Well, that's, that seems like, this, this all seems like I an amazing way of having someone bother for your son. I'm so glad that you have, you've decided to open applications by describing the color of, the, the color of, your, of your booty hole. That's good. My coochie pink, my booty hole. You know I'm brown. sexy, I'm the best. I'm the S-word, little bitch, I'm that, you know it. I can't say his name because he be cheating. Yeah, and I'm the reason. And apparently, Nicki Minaj found it necessary to uh, do a, a second version of Pound Town. <laughs> I, I was hoping that it was Pound Town Roman. It is not. It's just Pound Town 2. So, I, like Zootopia 2. It's not like, it's not like you know, Empire Strikes Back. Or okay. Um... So, so we have Sexy Red to thank, thank for Ben Shapiro doing this read through. Thank we, you, Sexy Red. Thank you, Ben Shapiro. But it's never just that. Thank there's you, also Daily Wire. There's you also made my day. there's also Nicki Minaj and uh, and Candace Owens who are always uh, going back and forth, right? Which is yes. wonderful as well. Yes. Uh, Nicki Minaj's tweet about Ben Shapiro uh, reading these lyrics said, Roman said, leave his ass out of it, sir. No pun intended. <laughs> Who's Roman? Roman right? is Nicki Minaj's yeah. Yeah. alter ego who is a gay man. Ah, ah. Oh, gosh. So if you weren't aware of that, ah, you know. I love it. So wait, so so if we could if we could actually like um And then sorry, but then Ben Shapiro said not possible at Nicki Minaj since you have apparently never recorded a song that left your ass out of it. Ah, oh, got him. Oh. Like I I wonder if we could like fantasy book like our own like Daily Wire people fighting. Like who does Brett Cooper fight with then? Which rapper? Lee, oh, I guess. It, it well, could be a obviously, rapper. Sexy Ice Spice. Red. Ice Spice. Ice Spice, for Ice sure. Spi it would be Ice Spice. Yeah, Who's yeah. Ice Spice? Uh, you don't know, do you Ice know Spice? any of these people? No. Nope. Th it's okay. It's yeah. like, uh, they're, they're you just. You should know who Sexy Red is. You we, should, go we, we you should Google old. Sexy Red, mm -hmm. and then you should go Google Born you. by the River. Born by the River is a great song. I'm going to make computer, sure not to Google that. Or anything you suggest. It's a great song.
Uh, I'm just I'm, I'm just shocked otherwise. because I, I just wonder, like you know, as the the conservative influencers, if it's just one of those things where they just they they get so weirded out by it, but then they've got such large platforms that. Uh, Wait, who are you talking about? Any like any of the Daily Wire influencers, whenever this stuff happens, I right? I just because... love that Nicki Minaj knows what the Daily Wire. Yes, is. that's <laughs> the funniest part. It seems like parts of the universe that should never converge. Yes, like like this it, is the culture where I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Like, so we have uh, billboards timeline of all the political beef between Candace Owens and Cardi B. Like, you know, do you think they've got like their name, like they've got the alert set for any time they respond to anything that they say? They both have notifications on. Yeah. For the oh, other. absolutely. Yeah. So, so it goes so, to, so September 6th, 2020, Candace Owens slams Cardi B on the Ben Shapiro show. She said, uh, if black Americans aren't insulted by the fact that Joe Biden, who has been hiding in his basement for an entire year, made an appearance and came out because he was going to do an interview with Cardi B, do we have nothing better to offer? So it started there. And then Cardi B responded. She tweeted, you want to know why Joe got to talk to me, Candace? Because <laughs> she misspelled Candace. Of course. I have the number one song, and yet my sister can't go to the beach in the Hamptons without Trump, without Trump supporters harassing because they were by themselves. And Santa Claus was harassing my sister's GF all because they are an Afro-Hispanic gay couple. Santa Claus? What world are we living in? It <laughs> this is supposed real. to make any sense. Now, Nicki Minaj's like cousin in loop. Trinidad yeah. <laughs> took the vaccine and his balls swole up, right? Yes. right. That, <laughs> that was the like, big thing. Right. villain name here. Who's Santa so, Claus? I'm like doing the always sunny, like putting the, the red the yeah. thread between all of these I, things. I'm with you. So, Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend from Trinidad has swollen balls. <laughs> Has swollen balls, and then Cardi B's sister's GF was harassed by Trump supporters at a beach. At, wait, in the Hamptons. In, in the Hamptons, and um, Santa Claus. And Santa Claus Santa was there. Claus. Yeah. It's and in, it was Christmas in July. And <laughs> Wait, I can't tell if the and Candace that, Owens. <laughs> I can't tell if this says that they were with Santa Claus or Santa Claus was harassing them also. Both. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> One of their friends was dressed up like Santa Claus. We were down there with Santa Claus. Twenty dollars super chat from Greg Cox. Uh he said uh, can Phil sing WAP better than Ben Shapiro? Duet. Let's see. You guys uh, should get it on a track together. I I, could pr I, I probably could. But, but you're not going to. Not here, no. Okay. Metal version of it. We'll get I don't I don't know. I maybe. Can maybe. you say these words on YouTube? No. I don't think so. I don't no. think so. No. <laughs> Candace no, you Owens can say then them. said, never listen to a person that has private security but wants the public police defunded about Cardi B. Never listen to a millionaire that made it here in America but trashes our country. These Hollywood idols are frauds, leading sheep down paths they never took when they discovered success. To those asking, no, I was not invited to speak at Cardi B's funeral. Who, who? She's still tweeting about me. I broke Cardi B. Who's this? Candace Owens. Oh, Candace, Candace Owens, Owens. responding. Yep. Uh, yeah. She, and then she continued slamming Cardi B on Tucker Carlson tonight. And now I just, I love but that Cardi Tucker gets Co involved in this stuff. Pulled out the receipts. I, I love Tucker getting involved in this stuff because I'm picturing some producer like like having to curate all the tweets and like there's like some official record because he's still at Fox at this time. So there's actual production notes with like all of this stuff listed yeah. with all of just the horrible language. It's, it's awesome. And then it's wonderful. Cardi B found she uncovered a tweet from Candace Owens in 2018 where Candace Owens predicted that Cardi B would be one of the avatars for the black revolution of free thought. She said, been watching her since Love and Hip Hop. She doesn't pay attention to politics, but if she did, she would be a Kanye mindset. She believes in freedom. Apparently not. Yeah, not and, and, then, and then that all kind of leads <laughs> into Cardi Candace B Owens said, and Kanye. Candace in 2018, yeah. she been knew I was that girl. <laughs> She didn't know. It, you know what? It, it's kind of giving me the same vibe as like when Pearl had on Nick Fuentes. Just doesn't know what she's talking about having him on. The you one know? thing Cardi B was right about though is like lettuce inflation. <laughs> that, yes, she was like my. Sh she's like I, she sent her shopper to the mail. Like she had to like double check to make sure the lady wasn't stealing from her. She's like, why are the groceries like, so $12 expensive? Twelve dollars for lettuce? Yeah, what, what the is hell? Happening like this country. It, it is funny watching the people that don't in, that aren't involved in politics get involved with it at such a high like because these people aren't fighting with like a bunch of like nobodies on the internet. They go straight to the big leagues mm -hmm. and, and they go fight with the people with with high <laughs> name recognition. 
Uh, Cardi B said, this is what pandering looks like over a picture of Trump with black people in the Oval Office. She said, I'll never pr praise no politician, not even Obama, FDR, or Bernie, only the Lord. This is how Trump panders with black people, while Candace concerns how Joe panders with me. Technically, well, they're, mean, both they're, right. Both right. They're, they're both right. They're both right. Joe they Biden both is pandering pan and Trump is pandering. Yeah. They both did it. And they should both be made fun of for doing it. Yes, right? absolutely. So it's it's just funny because I, I just picture her as like, well, like she would have been going to like some music award show, but like she's like waiting for the awards and she's arguing with Candace Owens on Twitter. <laughs> and then I just wonder, like, like I guess like, I understand why Candace Owens does it because it's great. It's great, uh, like, visibility in the mainstream. Content, yeah. well, and Candace Owens, uh, allegedly, according to Cardi B, tried to get her lawyers to make Cardi B do a public apology oh. to her. Well, that's stupid. Like, you're going to spout nonsense on the internet. You have to expect somebody else to spout nonsense back at you. Cardi it's B the way said the internet she works. tried to make me pay her 75 k in a month or she threatened to sue with no case. Like how smart you are and don't even know the law. I like this one though. June 2020, June 22, 22nd, 2023, they finally agree on something. <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, Owens revealed on Wednesday she agreed with the up rapper slamming, what's that guy's name? Brian Zaz, whose stepdad is a billionaire, Hamish Harding. So that was the, they're talking about the sub. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they the, both agree that the stepson of the billionaire on the sub is a bad person. Oh, we can, the sub brings more that, people yeah. together. It brings the, unity. And then Cardi B just responded the with the on the sub a is kangaroo. a bad person? No, the stepson of the, of the guy oh, on the, the sub. The guy yeah, that the, was The kid trying, went to the Blink-182 yeah. concert and, <laughs> and then people are like, why are you complaining? He has, he's coping. It's like, okay, uh, you know. It is what it is. So they, they agree that he was maybe not in the doing the best optics to like go to a. Thank you. Thank you. How did you guys uh, bring? How did you feel about the sub? Huh? How did you feel about the sub with the the whole thing with the Ocean Gate? Oh, I mean. A lot of things that went wrong. Yeah. And a lot of people died. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously, but. I've been, like, I was watching a, a couple of videos where they're talking about, like, this would be really ridiculous if it was any other mode of transportation. Like, imagine it was an aircraft, and they were just like, and then it's piloted with this gaming controller. Like if they took a skateboard down to see the Titanic? Yeah, basically, right? <laughs> like, uh, like, because uh, uh, they're like, uh, oh, in this, in this uh, Logitech controller is what controls the airplane. You wouldn't get within a thousand miles of that thing. Nobody would. Like, let me just add a zip tie really quick before <laughs> we... Maybe off. they should do airplane tours to the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, I think there actually are. I, I, say, I, say that, yeah, I, I think that's a thing. Yeah, I think I already think that's a thing. Okay. Um, but like, I think about like I, I was watching this uh, these compilation videos of planes that like almost break just as people are landing where it's like the wing starts to fall off and you see the people filming it on their phones you just imagine because i like we had we had like fairly large turbulence on the way back and there was a couple of people in there you could tell maybe they just didn't fly very much where they were very very clenchy yeah the whole the time thing, like people listen if you don't fly a lot that you need to understand it is so rare that planes yeah. just fall out of the sky if you make it to altitude, right? If you get up to third, when they say you're, oh, we, we reach cruising speed thirty six thousand feet, yeah. you are good until you start to descend. My, my, then my, things go bad. Things go bad on on taking off and getting up to up to altitude and on the way down. Otherwise, you're good. They don't just fall out of the sky. My um my logic has always been it's like how narcissistic can you be? Do you know how rare plane crashes <laughs> like that are? You think you're going to be you the one who dies? Important? You think you're that important? You're that special? You're going to go down in the record books? Nah, my friend. The people in the submarine are like, yeah, I, I, I do think I'm that important and special. Listen, I don't like the idea of getting on a motorcycle at sea level. Never mind getting in a tin can going down to like 36,000 feet or whatever below the Motorcycle sea. would scare me a lot more than any plane. Well, yeah, For but not sure. a, not more than going down to the Titanic in a tin yeah. can with yeah. a with a with a, I'd go a with Logitech James controller. Though. All right. Well, yeah, because he's got a great track record and yeah. he doesn't yeah, exactly. seem to be losing he, it all. Another thing luck. is, like, did, did you see the promotional video of the Titan submarine? Yeah. Where how they said, yeah, we don't hire old white guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
to well, uh, give us advice. Rock. I'm like, dude, those that's submariners. That's not inspirational. That's the people you want. We have an open floor plan at our office. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's great, but you're going 14,000 feet under the water. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.